Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today we are starting a new series, a champion spotlight series. This has definitely been requested and I've seen comments about this. Today we are going to start with one of the coolest looking champions in this game. My man Dreyfus. I love this champion. I love the way he looks. He's all blinged out. It's like the cousin of the joker man and he just even his shoes are really cool the kind of shoes he wears and he's got these straight legged pants on with the nice suit and everything and then he's got this little clown collar coat going on right here i just think he's a cool champion and i'm glad he's actually really uh useful in this game and he has literally changed my team even just as a five star gold champion so if you guys are wanting to get Dreyfus, I would definitely, definitely recommend getting him. He's so cool to have and he's fun to watch when you're going through PvE and just, uh, he's a surprising champion. You don't think he would do as much damage and be as effective, but if you look at his kit and you build him the right way, you will quickly realize that he's definitely in one of the top spots for the front line spot one champion besides charlotte as well she's definitely a champion and uh, i see a lot of raphael's in spot one too but what we're going to do is we're going to go through his skills what route enhance routes to take we're going to go through his gear what gear to prioritize on him what exclusive weapons to prioritize and what to prioritize as far as the awakening skills go so first let's start off with his passive when he's under attack it increases his attack by six percent now that changes because i went enhanced route one on his taunt mask passive these two abilities right here are passives that means they're not attacks okay so this is one of the passives where when he attacks it, there's a probability to add a taunt and that forces an enemy to attack him this is perfect because we build him as a dodge Dreyfus tank essentially so because of the enhanced route one on that it's 10 percent of attack and yes every time he gets attacked it adds a stack it stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks now when he dodges although you know that's a different story because he dodges the attack but every time he does receive an attack and it doesn't miss he does increase his attack by 10 percent now this is super important because his activated ability is actually quite strong and it hits like a truck i'm not even kidding guys um, trust me it's it's good because and we'll talk about this when we get into the gear the gear helps him out he continuously shoots four times dealing 165 percent damage to one random enemy unit each time now out of six champions four random enemy units if he hits a champion twice he's dealing big damage because of his exclusive item that we'll go over in a little bit not only that but he's hitting four times that's four attacks that's a lot of attacks and all of those attacks have the probability to uh put the person under a taunt Dreyfus is one of the only gold champions that uses that taunt skill, that ability to have enemies target him instead of your team. That saves your team from taking a lot, a lot of damage. Now, we obviously went over this, but as well, this reduces their attack when they're taunted by 17.5%. And this is awakened, so it's obviously changed that when you awaken him, it adds 5%. I believe which so it's only 12.5 percent for two rounds that's huge so not only is he taunting an enemy and forcing them to attack them he's also lowering their attack so they're not hitting him as hard if of course he's not dodging that attack so think about that guys and not only that but when he does attack he has blood sucking which means he has lifesteal, okay? When he attacks and uses that big activated ability, he heals himself for a lot, a lot of damage, guys. A lot of damage. And so we went route one here. We're also going route two here on the blood sucking mask ability. When under attack, there will be a 35% probability to obtain that energy point so he can activate his energy attack. And we'll go over that right now as well the other one is when he's healed he gets energy which does not make sense at all 
because he's going to be receiving a lot of attacks throughout the rounds. Next route, we took Route 1. Now, this is his uh, energy ability, and he consumes two energy points. The normal attack deals 100% damage to four random enemies 100 percent damage is still good and to four enemies that's spread out now think about this guys he deals four damage on his active ability or not four damage he deals damage to four enemies on his active ability and he also deals damage to four enemies on his energy ability that's popping raphael's prayers think about that Think about that. You, when you, in order to get that Raphael prayer off of someone, you have to attack them. So Dreyfus is actually attacking multiple champions multiple times throughout the whole fight. So this consumes the two energies. He deals 100% damage to four enemies. And this has a 100% probability to add taunt. If this, land, if this hit lands, they're taunted, period, for two rounds. And their attack is reduced and they only can attack Dreyfus. Think about that. Um, this is a fantastic way to go on your account, guys, if you're looking for a good tank, a good frontline main man. And all of this combined just mixes so well when you get his sub weapon. So just another overview, we go enhanced route one for all of his abilities, and we prioritize his sub weapon over his main weapon because his sub weapon it reduces his speed by 20%. Don't worry about that, guys. But increases his crit by 40% and increases his crit damage by 40%. This is one of the few abilities that increases crit damage on a guy. And so this, so this type of Dreyfus works well for my team because I have a Samuel in here. So Samuel's helping by incre increasing the crit rate of the team. Now, he obviously doesn't do crit hits every time. I'm not looking or relying on him to do damage, but he does do a significant amount of damage when he does hit that activated ability. Uh, here we have him in a four-piece Halidome set and a two-piece Abyss Gym set. We have the sub weapon and we have a three-piece Nanometer set i'm debating if i want to put him in a four piece i probably will but i have him spread out to my other champions to kind of even them out a little bit more but you definitely want to focus on dodge sub stats with these this one i got really lucky on i got a double with dodge and tenacity this has dodge this has a little bit of crit rate to increase his chances of that crit and this one has a little bit of accuracy so he can land those hits and get those taunts off so with the four piece limbo set i went to attack like i said he does deal damage guys i'm telling you just uh try him out give him a shot he does deal damage i went to tenacity i thought this was smart because if he's getting attacked you don't want him to get critted if it lands obviously you don't want those crit hits to land i'm probably going to level these up to like level eight or something as well and obviously these were my two best dodge halodomes level nine so i put them on him and it gives him a little hp boost no big deal that's the that's the route i went for him that's the gear you want and this is the halodomes you want i'm telling you there's rarely a round where my dreyfus dies he usually lasts throughout the whole rounds and he's usually not one of the last people to die i'm telling you you put just put a ton of dodge on him and he works great now let's talk about his awakening skills what to prioritize like i said earlier we want to prioritize this one first because it reduces the attack by another five percent so that's not that's going to help him to survive when he's being attacked by the taunted enemies and these other ones these other awakened abilities this one just increases his blood sucking efficiency but this one adds damage to his energy uh skill which this one is going to be the one you're going to do second and this one is going to be the one you want to do last to give him just a little bit extra blood sucking ability. So that is what you're going to prioritize when you awaken. Now, obviously, it seems like the champions from this camp are hard to get from the fallen camp. So if you want to get a Dreyfus, if this is a champion that you want, I would definitely recommend saving up for when there's a perfect higher event and it's for Dreyfus. I think I actually saved up 
or I didn't even save up. This was like early when I didn't know too much about the game. I still went for Dreyfus and I got really lucky. I got some copies of him, was able to get him gold and five star. And then recently, if you watched my uh, account summon video, you'll see that I got even more uh, pools for him, some blue ones. So I was able to get him to purple and I was able to awaken him once. That's so important because it awakening adds a ton of base stats so i'm just gonna go to the chapter real quick guys and i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna slow it down just a little bit to times two so you guys could see here boom they're missing look at all these attack stats he's getting and so it's nice that his sub weapon slows him down because it gives him time to to stack those attack percent stacks and when he finally unloads his ability, he's actually doing some decent damage as a frontline tank. He's actually putting in some work. And these guys are taunted, so their attack is down. He's So he's a really viable champion for story mode and for PvP, for the arena. You could just see here, boom. Uh, when they're taunted they're not attacking the team they're focusing him he's getting his attack stats up here he's dodging boom look at that he did 145,000 damage twice on that one uh enemy right there and as you can see here he's he's done almost 2 million obviously of course this has some healing but he dodged a lot of those attacks so he didn't really heal for much he did better than my Zhao. Uh, like i said guys i was really surprised when i uh when i saw when he when and this is after you got to get that sub weapon the difference it made in his damage output from that sub weapon and having the Samuel on the team, increasing the crit rate for them. It's just, it was alarming how good he did. He took me through like, once I got him like five stars, just a regular gold champion, he helped progress me through like three chapters in the game. It was just like, boom, boom, boom. Just, just because of him, he was, he was the MVP for a while and I had an awakened one pole. Like, think about that. He's not doing as much blood sucking because like I said, he's dodging a lot, you know, but when he does get hurt, he's able to recover that health. So guys, that is my champion spotlight for Dreyfus. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We're going to start going through all the gold champions all the orange heroes we're going to go through each of them i'm going to be making videos on each of them doing the same exact thing going over their abilities going over their gear what to prioritize for the enhanced routes and what to prioritize for the exclusive weapons and the awakened abilities hope you guys enjoyed it have a great day i'll see you in the next video